Thank you for joining me, everybody, and welcome back to another installment of Daily Exercises. This is Daily Exercise number five, so let's dive right in. Now, today's exercise uh, is a bebop turnaround. That's a 3625 turnaround. That's useful in a bunch of different scenarios um, and has probably a half a dozen or more derivatives of this, different variations uh, that you'll hear all over the place once you start listening for this kind of a lick. So uh, here's the lick here. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about what's going on in there. Uh, anybody who's paying attention will recognize the second half of that lick from daily exercises number one, uh, where we talked about the 2-5. Today we're going to talk about the whole lick, the 3-6-2-5, uh, and how it functions and what's going on. So the first part of this is a 3 and a 6, that is a half diminished 3 and a dominant 6, because you are resolving to the minor 2 chord. So there's a difference between major 2-5s and minor 2-5s, and we're going to talk about that right now. So if we're in C, which is concert B flat, for anybody who needs a transpose out there, the 3 of C is E, and the 6 of C is A. So this lick starts on the 3 of the 3, or it starts on the 5 of the root, however you want to think about it. So the 3 of C is E, the 3 of E is G, so this starts on G and walks down to the 9. It walks down uh, G, F, E, D. Or if you're in E, that's uh, 3, flat 9, root, flat 7. If you're in relation to the tone of thunder C, that's 5, 4, 3, 2. So G, F, E, D. And then uh, it resolves to the 3 of the 6, the, the major 3 of the 6, which is the flat 9 of, of the tonal center range of C. So it resolves to the 3 of the 6, the 6 is A, the 3 of A is C sharp. And then it jumps up to the flat 9 of the 6, and then drops to the flat 7 of the 6 and walks up chromatically to the root of the 6. So if we're in A, the flat 9 of A is B flat, the flat 7 of A is G, and it's G, G sharp A. So it sounds like this. So it gives you some nice little color tones uh, as a way to work on that tone around. So the whole first part of this sounds like this. Which then gets us to our 2-5, which we talked about in the uh, um, daily exercises number one. So the 2-5 uh, is um, outlining a minor 2 chord. So you've just resolved the 3 and the 6 brought you to D minor. So now we're in D minor, uh, and we're outlining D minor with uh, a D minor arpeggio, starting on the 5 and walking down to the 7. So we're playing 5-3-1-7, uh, 5, 5 flat 3 1 flat 7 in D minor, or in relation to the tonal center, in relation to C, we're playing 6 4 2 1. So we're playing A F D C. And then, like the, the 6 chord, we're resolving to the 3 of the 5. So we're resolving to the major 3 of the 5. We're in C, the 5 is G, the 3 of G is B, so we're walking down that minor arpeggio and then resolving to the 3 of the 5, B. <laughs> And then, like we just did with the 6 chord, we're going to run up to the flat uh, 9 of the 5, and then the flat 7 of the 5, and then chromatically back to the root of the 5. So we're playing the flat 9 of G is A flat, the flat 7 of G is F, and then we'll F, F sharp G. So the turnaround for the 3 and the 6, and the turnaround for the 2 and the 5 is the same. We're doing a little chromatic encapsulation, encapsulation of, uh, of that tonal center. So. Uh, these things are all diatonic to the key we're in, and you might say, well, we're in C, there's no flats or sharps in C, you're playing a B flat, you're playing a, a D flat, you're playing an A flat, you're playing a G flat, like, um, first of all, these are all passing tones uh, in relation to the tonal center, and second of all, um, depending on how you want to look at this lick, it can be analyzed in a couple of different ways as tritones, or you can look at the 3-6 resolution to the 2 chord, um, as a resolution to a natural minor instead of a melodic minor. So there's a difference between, there's three different types of minors, uh, minor scales, but we'll get into that. So if you're in uh, the tonal center, if we're in C, D minor has a flat three and a flat seven, it's otherwise known as a Dorian mode, um, that is a melodic minor. It's melodic to the key we're in, it's diatonic. So uh, the only keys, or the only notes that are gonna be altered in D minor would be the three and the seven because there's no F sharp or C sharp in C concert or C major, excuse me. So you would have to flat the three and flat the seven. Now, if you're playing a minor two five, two D minor, you think of it as natural minor. So natural minor is a flat three, a flat 13, and a flat seven. So when you're resolving the three and the six to the minor two of the key, technically you are including the flat 13 in there, which would be the flat nine of the sixth chord. Um, so if we're in D, you'd have D 
E, F, G, A, B flat, C, D. So uh, the three of the key you're in is going to be half diminished, and the dominant six, because you need to tonicize the two chord, the dominant six is going to be uh, <clears throat> what we would call harmonic major. You would have a major three, but you would have a flat nine uh, and a flat seven in that as well, as well as a flat 13 in your six chord. Um, so we're going to walk through it one more time. I know that can be a lot to take and a little confusing, um, but it's easier to think about in relation to the tonal center you're in because even though you're incorporating all these, um, these different alterations, the tonal center is C, and these alterations really are just passing tones in C to give you some color and some tension that you can then release in interesting ways, which is why there's so many variations of this particular turnaround. So if we're thinking of in relation to C, the whole lick sounds like this. So we're thinking five, four, three, two, flat nine, flat seven, five, flat 13, six, four, two, one, uh, seven, major seven, flat 13, four, sharp four, five. So it's a little easier to think of in relation to the tonal center, because you're thinking, instead of thinking, oh, I'm in E, and E is half diminished, and I need to play three, flat nine, one, flat seven, uh, flat nine of the, of the six chord, you know, instead of trying to do all these alternations, you think, I'm in C, and I'm playing five, four, three, two, flat nine, um, or raised root, however you want to think about it, and then flat seven, and walking back up to the six, and then you're thinking, six, four, two, one, major seven, flat 13, walking back up to the five. So it's resolving uh, in the key you're in. It's resolving in the key you're in diatonically. So if we're playing this and we're thinking those chord tones, we're also thinking the notes. So you're thinking G, F, E, D, C sharp, or D flat, whatever you're more comfortable with, B flat, G, G sharp, A, and I say G sharp because I'm walking up. If I was going down, I'd be using flats, and if I'm walking up, I'm using sharps. So G, F, E, D, D flat, B flat, G, G sharp, A, F, D, C, B, uh, A flat, F, F sharp, G. So it's a very interesting turnaround, and in later exercises, we're going to get into some of the variations of this, because there's a bunch, uh, and they're all gorgeous. Like, they're all beautiful turnarounds. Um, you can play them fast or slow. They're very effective. Um, now, this one, being utilized as an exercise, you have to get a little more creative. So it resolves back to where it started. Um, and you can mix this with other turnarounds to get you to a resolution that will then move you naturally into another key. But if you want to play just this lick, you then have to make, you have to make a choice. You have to decide if you want to play the circle of fifths or the circle of fourths. I like the circle of force, personally. I just like moving in that direction. Um, so I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to show you what that's like. So I'm going to play the circle of force. Once again, the circle of force is C, F, B flat, E flat, uh, A flat, D flat, G flat, or F sharp, B, E, A, D, G, C. So. So I'm going to play uh, this lick around the circle of force. Uh, and it takes I don't know, about 30 seconds roughly to play this around the circle of force. So I'm starting in C, which is concert B flat for everybody else out there. started. So there you have it. That's a 3625 in all 12 keys. Um, and it takes about 30 seconds to play. Um, it's a beautiful turnaround and there's a bunch of variations that we're going to get into in later exercises. So thank you for joining me. Subscribe, smash the like button, and I'll see you all in the next one.